for today's video, I'm going to be making microfiber scrunchies. And I got this idea because maybe last year I bought these two microfiber scrunchies from Kitsch. And I can't remember how much they were. They were like probably $15 each. I'll look it up and write it in. Um, but yeah, what it is, is just a microfiber towel made into a scrunchie. And I have long hair and I wash my hair every night. So my hair is always wet. And I get that like wet back on your pajamas if I don't, I don't know, dry it well. And it's just really irritating. And then your pillow gets all wet. But anyways, I'm a big fan of like the turbans, those microfiber turbans that you put on right after you shower. But my hair is still like, I don't know, after I take it out of that, because of gravity, I will still get like, the water will drip down and then make my back wet. So anyways, I put my hair in a bun with one of these for, I don't know, a couple hours. Probably don't have to leave it in that long, but I forget it's there. And then it's, wet still but not like it I don't get like I don't know wet on my back so it's been really nice and I use these every night um, and you have to wash them because they like kind of smell I guess after a while because it's always wet so I do have to wash and dry these and even though this is not to dry I end up putting in the dryer but I only have two so I really wanted to try to make my own so I was searching high and low like in fabric stores for microfiber cloth and they don't sell it and I guess you can find it online maybe but it's hard to tell what kind of cloth it is like you want it to still be soft because it is going to go in your hair and you don't want it to be too thin because then it won't be very helpful so anyways they found two different ones that I, that I think will work really well actually I know they will because I already made them but I got this one, it's kind of ugly, but I don't know. I mean, it's gonna be in your hair at nighttime. No one's gonna see it, right? Um, so this I bought from Walmart and it's probably a Hawaii specific kind of thing at Walmart. Cause yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's made in China, but designed in Hawaii. Okay. Anyways, this was like 450 for a two towel set. And this is the perfect size, I think because from one of these, I could make three. Um, because the dimensions are, I would say five inches. You need the uh, material to be five inches wide. So this was perfect. I could make three from this one. And then I also tried this. This was from Ross. It was $4.99 for a pack of 10. And this is your standard like cleaning type of microfiber cloth, but it's actually really soft and kind of almost terry like which is really like this one. Oh, they kind of all feel the same. Soft but terry like. This one is the thinnest out of the three. But yeah, and so this one measures about 12 by 12. And so when I made this one, all I did was cut it in half and then sew them together. I'll show you in the video, but yeah, so this is one of these and then this one can make three of these. Um, I have not tried these out with my hair wet because I just made these. And actually I'm making, I decided to make this because I'm doing like a birthday dinner or going to a birthday dinner. And I was doing just little favors for the girls. It's like a girls night. So I have like a Dashing Diva nail sticker set in a bag. And I was gonna put these in and maybe like one more thing if I can find it by Saturday but yeah so I thought I would come here and show you this because it was really hard to find this kind of material not in the fabric section you have to be like in the cleaning or the kitchen supply the tea towel area because it wasn't in the towels like I do have a microfiber towel that I really want to use because it's really thick it's probably too thick now that I think about it but it was really thick and I know it's like really water absorbent, but we use it to wash the dogs or dry the dogs. So I don't want to try it with that anymore. But yeah, so it was really hard to find that. And that towel I found at like a trade show. So there's like, no way I'm going to find that 
locally and by Saturday. So anyways, I'll just get on and show you what I did. This is just the average, your usual scrunchie burrito method. So nothing new, but I'll, yeah, I'll just demo this. So I'm just gonna cut in half. And if you're sensitive to dust, like I am, I, if I'm gonna make a lot, I would wear a mask. Just cause I mean, it's so easy to just find a mask right now. Just cause it has all these, like when you cut it, there's all these fibers that come out. And I guess ideally you would vacuum it, but I don't have the vacuum downstairs right now. So I guess I'll do this one first. Maybe I'll cut them and then sew them all at once. So that's one. And then this one, I'm gonna have to divide into three and it's already the right length. And it's actually already kind of folded up too because it was in thirds. So yeah. Yeah, that looks right. And if I measure it, Five inches by 24. So this one is, this one's a little wider because I just cut it in half. It's five and three quarters and then 22 inches. So close enough. And I did it two different ways. So this one. If you look at the kitchen ones, they have a seam around the edge. And I don't know if that has anything to do with like the water absorbing properties or if it makes it flatter against your hair. I don't know, but it could also just be to like finish the end because there's a hole, right? And then, so this one, I finished the end too. I sewed around in white thread. It's kind of hard to see, but that's just making it a little flatter versus this one which is like scrunchy and I kind of like the finished one a little better it looks a little I guess more professional I don't know I mean it makes it look like the ones I bought for sure so yeah if you have like any cleaning microfiber towels around the house you can totally do this too I would recommend getting clean ones, but yeah. Just getting all the excess fibers. See how there's so much when you cut the edge. Okay, so now I'm gonna take you to the sewing machine. Okay, so sorry, my sewing area is a mess. because I've been doing all kinds of different videos, but I'm just gonna go through this really quickly since I think a lot of people know how to make a scrunchie the burrito way. Um, so I'm just going to show you the special things I'm going to do. I'm going to zigzag the cut edge just to keep the fibers in. And like if you were going to like give this away or sell it, like, you know, you just want it to look a little like more finished. So I'm going to do that. So just zigzag on the widest setting. And for my machine, it's set to about between two and three. Okay, so for now, the small microfiber cloth, I'm going to put it together with the cut side up. And I'm just going to sew down the short side, down here and then down here to make one long tube. Spend so much time looking for a place to hide, but somehow I always end up next to you. Okay, and so for the tea towel, I'm just gonna fold it in half um, with the right side in and sew it down the short way also. Okay, so this is one long tube can see with the wrong side out still and then now I'm just gonna burrito method um, and make this crunchy and so what that is is you're gonna fold it in half and fold one third in 
and one third in. So you have like a burrito down here. And then you're gonna fold the whole thing up so that these we can sew it down here. I don't know who thought of this, but that it's so genius. Okay, and so now we're gonna start sewing down. About a quarter inch seam allowance. make sure the burrito part is inside you don't want to stitch on top of it or you're gonna to have to take out the seam so just check every so often making sure it's all neat and then go down as far as you can leave the needle in and then just pull that burrito part down all the way until you can't anymore and then fix the burrito part on the inside you really just have to shove it in and then make sure the seam area or the sewing area doesn't have extra fabric and then at the bottom when you get to the part that you already sewed just push it through so that you can make it flat we're gonna keep sewing into we're about uh, about two inches away from the part we that we started okay, and then cut any loose threads that you see especially in this microfiber cloth it picks up all the little loose threads so you want to cut it and make sure you throw it in the trash and then we can pull the whole thing out through that two inch hole Sorry if my voice is muffled. I am wearing the mask while sewing. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing for the other one. Right sides in. See, I picked up all these extra threads from the side. So I'm gonna do the burrito. Fold it up one third, down one third, and in half. So this towel, it has like this green, um, what do you call, finishing stitch. You want to make sure we're sewing on the inside of it. Otherwise, this green stitch is going to show on the outside. So I'm kind of close right here. I'm going to kind of angle out. Spend so much time looking for a place to hide, but somehow I always end up next to you. Here's my end. I'm gonna stop about right here. Okay, so here's the first one, and this is the second one. I'm gonna turn it right side out. And then now we're gonna do the elastic. So I have one elastic cut already. And these are ones I bought at Daiso. It's like about one, a dollar fifty for, I want to say forty inches. So you get kind of a lot. And then I need just about an eight to nine inch piece. This one is ten, which is fine. And I like these because it's a little bit thicker. Like the usual ones I use for scrunchies is this thin one, and this is that Japanese lucky one. That's super stretchy. And I think for this kind of scrunchie, because your hair is gonna be wet, you're probably putting in a bun, you want something a little more, I don't know, sturdy. Like even the elastic in this one, it's the thicker type. It feels like this. I was debating using like a regular elastic, but I think when it gets wet, it's gonna hold more water. Whereas this, it does have a fabric, but then it's mostly elastic on the inside, if you know what I mean. Like you can see, this has elastic, but it's also, I don't know, some fabric. 
so let's see, I will cut this one. How long is this? 32, so I guess I can cut it in four pieces. And that'll be about eight inches. If you've never seen this before, this is a bodkin. This is like the best thing if you make a lot of scrunchies. It has like this little clip. So you close it and it secures the elastic. And it's just flexible with the tip. So it's just super easy. So especially with um, this thick elastic, you just stick the end in and then lock it. And I usually get a clip and clip this part, so I'll put it in. And then clip this part, but it's actually kind of a small scrunchie, so I can just hold it. Like, there's a lot of elastic for the amount of fabric. I was thinking maybe I should make it longer, but when I looked at these ones, these are about the same. So we'll just try this. He's so fast and you just unlock it. No, no safety pin, like trying to poke it through the elastic without poking your finger. And then I usually just measure around my wrist. Seems good. So I'm just gonna make a knot. And I want it to be kind of towards the end. So I'm really just gonna make it and then pull it as tight as possible. And then you can trim it. You don't really have to either, but then I'll do this one for the purple. I like to pull it this way because that's the, what it's going to be like when you wear it, right? And make sure it's nice and tight. So this one I'm going to hand sew. Just because I don't have purple matching thread and I don't think it'll look good with the white stitching on the outside, right? It, it looks kind of messy. So because this is a thick cloth, I'm going to double up the thread. So I have a double thread. I'm just going to make a knot, turn it around my finger, roll it, and then use your nail, press it or pull it to the end. And then we're just gonna do a ladder stitch. And I've demoed this in my other scrunchie video. Um, it's a little harder to see because of this fabric. But okay, I'll stick that in from the inside out just to get started so that the knot is in the inside. And then you fold the material in as if it was already sewn together. Then you just hold it like this and you can do it's um i guess it's a ladder stitch because you just go like that way that way that way you know does that make sense okay anyways so i kind of hook in the middle the top the bottom and then i'll pull it through so i'm not going all the way out like out that way i'm just catching it on the inner fabric area and you'll have to make the stitches really small because it's a towel as long as you know the elastic doesn't show and there's not a big hole and the good thing with the burrito method is that you can make this hand sewing area pretty small like it's not too bad sewing two inches hand sewn it is easier the other way that I'm going to show you because then you don't have to hand sew at all. But the double um, thread I think is pretty necessary when you use a thick material. So I'm already at the end. Now to make the knot, it's so hard to see because it's fluffy, but I hook into the inside and come out. And with the part that's connected to the fabric, you go around three times, either way. And then you're gonna pull the thread through. So you can see you have a little knot. 
and you don't want to see the tail end so then you just poke it through and come out like some random area pull it and then cut it somewhat close and then when you pull it again it disappears on the inside so yeah that one's done and then I'll take you to the machine and show you how I'm gonna close up this one okay, so here's the hole and you see you want to make this part turned in with the green stitching and then on the other side too so you put it together as if it was already sewn and we're just gonna do like a top stitch so about an eighth of an inch of a inseam all the way around so I'm gonna start at the hole first like sewing up the whole part first and I'm kind of doing it on like a, a bigger stitch like maybe a three or four what is it called like a basting stitch and then right now my needle is going right down the center I like to make it to the one to the left then you can follow the center line and top stitching is really easy that way and you don't have to be exact it's really not gonna matter so the nice thing is that you don't have to worry about catching the elastic or anything all you want to do is make sure this part is flat and even Okay, so this one's all done and I looked up the price of these and it was two for $18 so yeah this is like way easier this is probably like $5 for three around there so yeah thanks for watching and I hope you tried this I really love using these every night it really it's a game changer if you have long hair and you just air dry it but yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.